how to create an intense dotted design such as this in Affinity Photo. All starts from a single circle. Go to the Tools panel and select the Ellipse tool. Make certain the fill colour is set to white and go with a stroke of black and say something like 5.5 and then just create a circle. And then use the right arrow key and you can create multiple copies by just clicking that. Make certain you don't release the mouse. The key thing is you've still got the mouse held down. Go all the way across and then use the down key. And again, don't release the mouse. All the way down and then release. And you've got your design. Well, what you can now do is you can rasterize it. So I'm just going to resize it quickly. But go over here to the layers, right click and go down to group. So it's all grouped. Also, make certain this is turned on, so you can see it's a grade there. Then go to Layer, and you can go down here to Rasterize. So with Rasterize, it's all turned into a pixel layer. Go to the Move tool, press Return, and now this panel. So with 2.3, you've got Scaling. Now in the previous version, there was just Rotation, but now you've got Scale. And you can click here for Duplicates, so number of copies, you can go for say 30 or 40 or 50, up to you. Then go for scale and you can go 101 and you can see it obviously fills the screen big that way. But you can also go to say 97, 96 and you can see it zooms down to that central position. Then you can use a rotation. So you might like to just enter the value. You can just use it and slide, just use it as a slider. Not always easy, but not 0 0.2, just a little bit of a change, maybe... 0.5 or 0.6 you can see you can see create this sort of rotation and of course you can vary number of copies you can increase it maybe make it now they're all layers so there's multiple layers so when you actually click OK you'll see you've got multiple pixel layers another useful thing because I set that enable transform on I can reposition this so you might decide let's just move that center point over to there and you can then get that effect or you can drag it over that way and get that, and so on. You can move it back and forth. And of course, you can vary this rotation a bit more. And also, you can modify this. So you might decide, go for naught or four, something like that. So it just pushes it that way. Or just change the vertical to, say, three. So it pushes it down that direction. And click OK. And you've got your design there. What you can then do, select all of the layers, all the layers selected, Exactly the same as before, right click and go to group, so they're all grouped. And then you can go over here and layer and down to rasterize. So it's all rasterized into a single pixel layer. Of course, now you've got that, you can go to filters, you apply all kinds of distortions like deform, as well as other color effects and much, much more. Now you could also, of course, use different colors in your circle. So I've just gone for white but it could, of course, be red, green, blue. Maybe try it with gradients and things just to see if it creates different designs. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Thank you much.